Hi, welcome to Moda Mob. I'm Cesar Ramirez, and today I'll be using hot rollers to show you how to achieve bouncy full weight. Hi, I'm here with Ani, and I'm going to show you guys today how to use hot rollers to get a full bouncy wave. The first step is that I'm going to determine where I want to see her part. I'm just going to look at her face and see what would be the flat, most flattering point in which to part her hair. So you have to kind of think of what the end result is going to be. And I think that's going to look good right there. I am going to section off this first side section. Split that into two because she has uh, full hair. I'm going to take one of my hot rollers. I'm going to take the larger round roller and just start right at the base, right by the root of the hair. I want to just measure that the width of the section that I took is the same width as the roller. You don't want to take too much hair because then the hair will fall out. I now want to just slide the roller down the hair and wrap it. You can use your comb if any hair slips out. Now that it feels nice and tight and secure in there, I'm going to take the clip and just clip that into place. Like I said, a good way to determine your section is by measuring the roller to the section and making sure it's not too wide. Again, you want to slide the hair onto the roller and just wrap it, getting your ends in there. And using your comb to smooth it out, clipping it into place. Now I'm going to move on to the back section. This hairstyle doesn't require too much texture. You just want to create a nice soft wave, uh, reminiscent of old Hollywood. So I'm starting from the under layer and clipping everything else away. Taking a pretty nice size section underneath because I'm going to use one of the bigger rollers. Again, you're going to roll it on, getting the ends inside there, and clipping it into place. You're going to do this all the way through the head till you get to the top section. You want to make sure it's nice and tight in there so it doesn't slip out. Something you want to remember is to make sure every roller is rolled in the same direction. This is going to give you a uniform wave. So when you brush it out in the end, it's all going in the same direction. If you're worried about the heat on your hair, you can use a heat protector. And that'll actually help with the finish to give you a nice shine at the end and keep your hair in a healthy condition. This is also a very good alternative to using hot irons because the rollers don't get as hot and don't damage the hair. So when you're picking out hot rollers, you want to make sure that the hot roller has a felt inner lining. This is what's going to protect your hair from the heat, and it's going to actually produce shine in the finish. I'm now approaching the top section of Ani's hair. Once I get this last back roller in. So 
So this front section is what's gonna be framing her face. In this section, I'm actually gonna roll everything forward as opposed to going back. What that's gonna do is that it's gonna give you that old S-shaped wave on the face that you would see in a Marilyn Monroe hairstyle or a classic old Hollywood style. In the very front, I'm gonna use a smaller roller just to give it me a little bit more texture and not so loose. Then I'm gonna work my way back in this top section, still rolling everything forward. section. If your hair is a type of hair that is a little limp and doesn't actually hold too much curl, you can use a working hairspray on each section as you roll and that'll actually give you a little bit more hold. And once all the rollers are in, what you want to do is just let it sit until you feel the rollers cool off because the heat actually molds the hair, it bends the hair, it actually creates the texture that you're trying to achieve, and then the coolness actually sets it in that shape. So you wanna make sure that each roller is cool before you take it down. Once the hot rollers are cooled off, you wanna take them all out, keep the integrity of the curl. You can see how that curl is set in there. I always tell my clients, if this is a look you're trying to achieve and you don't have a lot of time, maybe you wanna just set these in, put them in, and then get ready. Do your makeup afterwards, get dressed, and then this is the last step you wanna do in the getting ready process. Once you've got everything else set settled, take the rollers out, because it does take a little bit of time for the hair to cool off and set. Once all your rollers are out, you want to just take your flat paddle brush and start brushing very lightly. You don't want to brush the curl out, you just want to make everything uniform. Brush from underneath. Brush from the top layer just to bring all those curls together. Once you start seeing your hair coming to that finished result that you want, you can grab a finishing spray and just lock it in place. If you want to create a little bit more volume, you can always take your comb and just back comb a little bit at the root. Spray that. Brush it out. And you got a little bit more volume there. And there you go. This is how you achieve bouncy full waves. And for more of my series, you can go to modamob.com. Thank you for watching.